And that was the amazing Kate Bush going out there to JT. And John, I know you're listening. Um, hope you had a good day at the cricket yesterday. It's always nice to give the Aussies a spanking, which we certainly did yesterday. Yeah, it's only 800, didn't it? Uh, ben Stokes, absolutely it's brilliant. Not, he plays for him, doesn't he? No, no, he plays for, I think it's Durham, he plays for well. yeah. He did play for Lancashire, though, not he? No, I don't think, no, yeah. Josh Butler's a lanky lad. Oh, Josh Butler, oh, yeah, I never mixed up. Um, Ball plays for Lancashire as well, doesn't he? Butler, we've got Jimmy Anderson. Yeah. So, yeah, Lan- Lanky's pretty well represented in, in England, so... Yes, Lancashire is the main source of England, actually. I hope so, yeah. I like to think. Apart the Red from, Rose. Yeah, the Red Rose. I'm a, and I'm a big fan of the Red Rose. You go sit cricket. Oh, right, yeah, when I yeah. can, yeah. yeah I think I've got me, me, Jay and Je- uh, me, Jay and Frank go at one in a few weeks, hopefully. Fair enough. Uh, we'll see you on a Friday night. It's well worth well worth a visit. Yeah, time. It's yeah. a laugh. It is a laugh. Yeah, it's great to kick it, isn't it? You know, if you go to twenty twenty one, it's it's yeah, it lasts slug. about two and a half hours, right? But you can have a good drink in there. Yeah, and they get what's called a they call it, they call it a beer snake. Yeah. So they connect all these plastic right, and by the end of it, it's enormous, and everyone's got, got to keep the snake going. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going all over the bloody stands like this huge, well, about five thousand bleeding things, like right. you know, yeah. and you're carrying it about everywhere. Oh, it's comical. <laughs> it's <dangerous>. yeah. <laughs> So anyway, back to the show. Uh, next band, no introductions. Quality. ABBA were now at the really were at the peak of their powers, uh, and in '77 they released an album called Arrival, which was a number one all over the world. Yes. And in early '78 they released another single, uh, again another number one. I think this was their sixth number one. And they've probably been going since 1974 when, yeah. when they won Eurovision. Well, they've been going a bit before that because they're starting off oh, as yeah. a folk band. Didn't yeah, they? in Sweden. You know, yeah. And they'd have, this is their sixth number one. Yeah. Um, they'd had two massive hits in 1977. 76, they just dominated the charts. Well, in 78, they brought this song out. And this got to number one. I think this was, a, a, not mistaken, about March time. Yeah. March, April time. Number one for three weeks. Uh, again, another big seller. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this one to all all my friends who go in the lion. Yes, they've been we, there this afternoon. So well, yes, that's to if Norman like, would like to supply Noddy with free beer, that'd be uh, absolutely fantastic. It so, is a metropolis of a Sunday afternoon in Salford, so whatever you're doing in Salford, make sure you get down to the Red Lion. So I'd like to dedicate this to Dave Allen, George, um, Ali Hello. and Lisa, Sue, uh, the girls behind the bar, which is Kat, Davina, Debs, Tony. And to my host and hostess, Karen and Norman. This is Abba and Take a Chance on Me. If you change your mind, take a chance on the first in line. Take a chance on the answer free. Take a chance on me. If you need me, let me know. Gonna be around. Take a chance on me. 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 Take a chance on me.
Abba, take a chance on me, and if you're going in another line today, make sure you get one of them butties at Norman Supplies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that song, Simon's, I know this one, because yeah. I'm playing this first, especially for you, because I know it's, de- it's a song deep to your heart, this one. Well, it is, actually, and I'd like to say, while we're talking about the song, Maria Smith Barlow got us a signed print by Brian and Michael. Oh, right. Have you seen it? No, I've not. Well, let me show you all. I've got it in the studio, ain't it? Oh, right. What do you think of this, Nods? Oh, yes. How good is that? It's very nice, yes. That's it's absolutely uh, amazing, that, isn't it? So, thank you for that, Maria. I'm sure yes. Sam will have that in pride of place in Studio One. Yes, big shout out to you there from Maria for that. Right, I want to say this, Noddy. Go on. Because we have a lot of sofa fans that listen to our show, don't we, mate? We do, yes. And I want to say this about Marwank. Marwank, right? Before you change your name, Marwan, just think of a few things, right? Church of Wit, even bar while Salford was going. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I know, yeah, yeah. Also, it was six years before Rourke's Rift when we was formed. Yeah. Yeah. These are just a few interesting little facts, right? The German Empire was the main power in Europe. Gladstone was the MP. Custer was still alive. No, he's Prime Minister, Gladstone, wasn't he? Oh, was he Prime Minister? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Custer was still alive. Salford was an industrial powerhouse and the bees come from Salford. Do right. you know that? Right. They come from Salford originally and that's why they're still on the coat of arms. Right. right. So Marwan Kukash, you can change our name but you can never, ever change our pride. Well, that's very well said, Simon. Some interesting facts you dug out there, mate. Yes, I have actually. I've got, got a couple more, actually. Salford Rugby was formed to give a little joy to the working people. Does he know that? Well, I think, like, and if you're taking that away, Marwan, you know, how many people are going to go and see you? There's not going to be very many. Well, I won't go with the chase I name. won't go either, it's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's... We've uh, been here for two world wars. Yeah. We survived that, I think. We survived that, haven't we? We survived <laughs> IRA bombings. We've survived terrorist attacks. We've survived everything, Marwan. Do you know what I mean? You think you're going to change our name? Boom, not a chance, mate. Not a chance, Marwan. So anyway, Simon, the song, I know it's dear to you, it's, it was... It's dear to everyone in Salford. It is, it's, it's, it's like the Salford National Anthem. Well, it, again, it's one of those songs that come from nowhere. Yes. And I think it was the top of the Pops performance, and they used this kids' choir, didn't they, to yeah. help them do it. Yes. There were two folk singers, I don't think they were from Salford, were they, Simon? You'll probably know it better was, than me. Actually, it was uh, Brian and Michael, and it was from Salford, and this is how the song originated. He wrote it on the back of a Benson and Edges pack. He always used to sing in the, uh, is it the Beaumont? The Belmont. The Belmont. On the top of a... Uh, oh, it's on top the, of my, Yeah, I know what he mean. The Beaumont Bowling Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Bowling Club, yeah. Well, he started off in there. There was two two folk singers, and he started off in there singing. And he wrote this song on the back of a Benson and Edge packet. Right. Did you know that? Right. <laughs> Going down Chapel Street. So, well, uh, my good friend Pat Watson's actually works, and she'll be working in there this afternoon. She works in the Belmont. Well, that's where he come from, Brian that's, uh, and Michael. That, that's mate, I, never knew, I, I yeah. never knew that. Yeah. Wow. He started off in about 1975. Right. I think one of them was a school teacher, to be honest. Well, again, well, the song, uh, it came from nowhere, but it it just got, it got to number one. Yeah. It was number one for three weeks, and it was quite a big seller, and it really did put Salford on the map. But yeah, uh, do you know what? He had to change the lyrics towards the end of it because uh, Lowry died while he was writing the song. Yeah. And then he changed the lyrics. Right. You know, at, right at the end. Mm. Before I know, the song came out. He lived in Swinton, didn't he, Lowry? Yeah, he did. He had a house in Swinton. Yeah. Yeah. But he was actually, he was born in Manchester, wasn't he? From there? Stratford, wasn't he? I'm not sure, I but I know. Was, Stratford, yeah, Frank yeah. told me he was actually Ma- um, Ma- Manchester born, but yeah. obviously all his work was based around Salford. Well, he was a rent collector, wasn't he? Was he? Yeah, he was a rent collector. Oh, no, no, I didn't know. Right. No. Well, he was a rent collector and he had a passion for painting. Right. 
But they didn't like him in London. They didn't like his works. They said he was like stick artist. They called yeah. Um, Which with the Lou two in the song, yeah, yeah. But eventually, um, well, Salford's got the Beast collection, and they, yeah. they are. I've I've seen. I've, I mean, I've been all over the world, and you still see Larry Prince. Yeah, you know, wherever you go. So they are, they got that right. They nailed that really well. Well, you should just seen one in the studio. Oh, I did indeed. So I'd like to dedicate this one to all the Salford fans, yes. and I know you're going for you're all worried, but. Like Simon says, just keep the faith. Keep the faith, yeah. Come on, you Reds. Uh, Come on, you Reds, we've got Wembley. Uh, so, get, yeah. Get your coaches booked, no matter what pub you're in. Get your coaches booked, we're going. So this one's all for you. I know you're all fanatical and it means the world for you. I'd like, especially like to mention people like Frankie Birchall. Yes. Dave Bainbridge. Yes. Who, legendary Reds. Legendary Reds. Yeah, you That's know, what who, I, I class them as. Yeah. Jay Camp. Yeah. They've been going since day one. Of course they have. Ken Edwards, Spud. Yeah, Tony Beckett. Yes, Tony. Yes, legend, old school. Yeah. That's what I prefer to call them as, old school Reds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So uh, Ian Archer. Yeah. People like that, you know. Mm-hmm. When, when you're a sofa fan, you're born into this family. Mm. This is the way I see it. You've not mentioned Steve, Steve Bradshaw. Yeah, brothers, yes. You know, so... Shirley. Yeah. You're born into the family. Jay, eh? Jay and Lisa. Yes. Oh, my gin swigging mates. Yes. So, <laughs> this song's going out to all you lot. It's Brian and Michael, <laughs> and Matched Up Men and Matched Up Cats and Dogs. <laughs> He painted Salford smoky tops on cardboard boxes from the shop And parts of ankle where I used to play 